Here I have two circulated. 1981 P. Jefferson Nichols, most likely at VF30 or 35 condition. As for Sheldon numerical coin grading scale, strike of central devices are not that sharp, plus circulation wear here and there also adds up to the cones. On the obverse side of both coins we witness large contact marks including several goats. Some of the letterings are abraded as well. Reverse side displays traits of dye deterioration. Strike was weak. Monticello steps are completely flat. Numerous abrasions are scattered across the surfaces of reliefs and the fields. Philadelphia Mint produced over 657 million business strike nickels in 1981. Circulated specimens are easy to locate. Uncirculated gems become scarcer starting from MS64 condition with full steps. Guiding price is $140. In MS65 full steps, they are worth over $570. In MS66, $2000. In MS67 with FS designation, $5000 according to PCGS price guide. One of the most valuable specimens was sold at Great Collections Auction. This superb gem in MS67 condition with full Monticello steps fetched the sum of $4,500 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. The 1981D Jefferson Nickel was produced at the Demer Mint, which is denoted by the D Mint mark on the obverse side, just below the year. The Denver Mint is one of the United States Mint's facilities responsible for producing circulating coins. In terms of mintage, the 1981D Jefferson Nickel had a relatively high production figure. Over 1.7 billion coins were minted that year, making it a common coin that is readily available in circulation. Due to its high mintage, the 1981D Nickel does not carry a significant premium value. In uncirculated or mint state condition, the 1981D Nickel may have some value to collectors, especially if it is in exceptional condition with full steps. For instance, this 1981D Jefferson Nickel in MS67 with full steps inside NGC holders was bargained for $312 at Heritage Auctions. Today I will show you this proof 1964 Jefferson Nickel from Coinas Collection. After close examination we will look into how valuable these proof nickels can be. The metal composition is the same as on regular nickels, 75% copper, 25% nickel. Only difference is that production process is more defined, intricate and shinier. Coin was kept inside this holder for quite a long time and had some contact with humidity, for sure which is obvious when we pay attention to the rusty surfaces of those four staples. But that's why you should always keep your coins in airtight holders, cellos, capsules or slabs, cause we see no tarnish or patination on either side of this superb gem. Coin is bursting with satiny luster, strike is needle sharp, just pay attention to those enhanced details on Jefferson's bust. Fields are shining like a mirror, yet no deep contrast is evident between fields and device to get cameo or deep cameo designation. When we turn it over we see almost the exact same pros. Perfect preservation, perfect strike and eye appeal. No distorted elements are evident on Monticello building as in most circulation, 5 cents. Full 5 steps evident under close up. Philadelphia Mint struck nearly 4 million proof nickels in 1964. Ordinary proof coins at grades like 69 or 70 are worth between 30 and 600 dollars. Examples can easily be found in PR68 grades and lower without much effort. Even in PR69 conditions they are abundant, with thousands of examples available. Only in PR69 with deep cameo surfaces does it really become somewhat scarce. One of the most valuable examples was sold in 2021. This flawless Anton Nickel at PR69 grade with deep cameo feature was sold for $470 at legend rare coin auctions. The 2011 nickels were produced in large quantities, therefore coins can still be easily obtainable from circulation. According to PCGS, even coins grading up to MS65 can still be found by searching. In grades of MS66 they are a bit more scarce, requiring some effort to find, either in circulation or from rolls or bags. In MS67 they are very scarce and possibly most examples in this grade came from original rolls or bags. They are very rare at Mint State 68 with a total of 7 Denver and Philadelphia variants reported at that condition by PCGS. 
At Miss Day 60, those whose meat marked D are worth over $1,500 as for PCGS price guide. The nickels I'm showing you now are from Koina's collection. Both of them are vibrant with luster and strong cartwheel effect, but they are at lower meat state, 60 or 61 most likely. The most expensive specimen was sold in 2016. 2011 D. Jefferson Nickel at Mint Day 60 with full steps designation. PCJ certified Super Gem full steps examples of the 2011 D. Nickel are seldom seen. This MS68 full steps coin is the finest at the surface. The strike is tech sharp and the brilliant surfaces are virtually perfect and radiantly lustrous. An essential acquisition for registry set enthusiasts. Sold on January 7, 2016 for $6,462.50 at Heritage Auctions. In this episode, I'm going to talk about 1954 Jefferson Nichols struck in Philadelphia and Denver. This one is from Philadelphia as it bears no mint mark near the Monticello building on reverse. Heavily circulated, poorly struck and tarnished specimen. It's likely in fine condition by Sheldon scale, which is considered below average circulated grade in numismatics. Some letters in the verse are not fully struck, for example, S and T in trust, dissolving to age like in wrong planchet error coins. Jefferson bust is significantly worn, most hair details are soft. Reverse side also display strong circulation wear and traits of dye fatigue. Surfaces of the fields are also corrugated, which can be a result of faulty planchet. For 1954, U.S. Mint struck over 47 million five cents in Philadelphia. They are in abundance out there, so do not signify any numismatic value. However, full step specimens, especially those at higher uncirculated grades, are somewhat scarce. For instance, full steps in MS66 grade are valued at $2150 according to PCGS price guide. Anything above that grade is considered rare and is worth big money. This is the most valuable 1954 Jefferson nickel and mean state 66 with full steps. Ultimate gem with non numerically finer. PCGS reported just three specimens with plus designation. Bold cartwheel luster supports rich golden iridescence throughout. A difficult date to locate with full design details, as in Lincoln sense of the same date. It was sold for $8,812.50 at Stax Powers auction. Denver branch of the mint produced over 170 million nickels for the same year. The 1954 D. Jefferson nickel is not well struck overall. Care clearly was not taken in quality control. This is why examples in MS66 or higher are very scarce, especially those with full steps. The record breaking sale according to PCGS was realized in 2020. This is 1954 D. 5 cent piece in Mint State 66 Plus with full steps. Sharply struck and well preserved, this borderline superb gem has generally clean surfaces, free of distracting marks of any kind. Only under strong glass can you find any trace of contact. A slight blush of iridescence seen on the lustrous surfaces. The eye appeal is excellent. It was sold for $9,693.75 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. The 1969 D Nickel was minted at the Denver Mint in Colorado and is composed of 75% copper and 25% nickel. The mintage of 1969 D Nickel was $128,345,000, which is considered to be high mintage for a nickel. In terms of rarity, the 1969 D Nickel is not considered to be rare or valuable coin. However, if a 1969 D Nickel is in mint condition, and has not been circulated, it could be worth more than its face value to a collector. This one I'm holding is just circulated specimen, worth face value. But uncirculated examples with full steps are extremely rare. To date, PCGS certified just one 1969D example with full steps designation so far. The 1969D Jefferson Nickel in MS65 condition. The nickels struck by the Denver Mint in 1969 demonstrates the extent to which entire issues were plagued 
by this conditional rarity, evidenced by the fact that just a single coin from a mintage of more than 202 million pieces has been identified as exhibiting enough sharpness to be considered full steps. And that one nearly incalculable anomaly is a George's jewel to be featured in the present lot. This incredible 20th century rarity boasts a brilliant platinum white complexion and pearlescent luster on each side. The surfaces are comprehensively frosted with faint proof-like reflectivity apparent in the fields. Perhaps most impressive and certainly most significant is a profound definition exhibited by the design elements throughout. Monticello steps are nicely delineated, remaining entirely unobscured by abrasions and exhibiting just the faintest modicum of softness at the lower right region. Among representatives of the issue, this piece rests at the pinnacle. It was sold for $33,600 at Stex Powers auction. Another elusive 1969 nickel you should know about, 1969S proof nickel with deep cameo feature. The 1969S 5 cent PR69 deep cameo is a rare and valuable coin that was produced in 1969 as a part of United States Mint's proof coin program. The PR69 designation indicates that the coin is of the highest quality in the terms of strike, luster, and eye appeal. The deep cameo designation refers to the sharp contrast between the frosted devices and mirror-like fields on both sides of the coin. This is achieved by using a special polishing process that creates a deep three-dimensional effect. This superb gem ended up selling for $1116.25 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, hope this information was helpful, your likes and subscriptions are highly appreciated. Take care. Do you want to sell your coins, paper money, notes, valuable bills and stamps online? You can publish your ads for free on our website, thecoinas.com. For mobile users, it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coinas app.